Hi everyone, it's Serena, and I am so excited to be here with December Diamond, who owns the Diamond Pilates Studio on Howard Avenue. Yeah. So December, first of all, tell me about your studio. Um, well, I've been a Pilates instructor um, since 2007, so I've been doing it for a very long time. You can tell because you look fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> Thank you. I have a small boutique studio. Mm -hmm. I only have five reformers, so my classes don't get overcrowded and I can modify for different levels within the classes. Okay, what is it about Pilates that, I mean, I've heard a lot about Pilates, I've heard great things about Pilates. What, what makes Pilates so different from other workouts? Pilates is um, all about training your body differently, making you function better. So we're starting from the core and then moving our arms and legs around to make exercises challenging. <laughs> or more challenging, <laughs> or less challenging, or less challenging. Well, you know, someone always says to me, you know, you know, people tell me all the time, you've got to work, you know, you've got to work hard for the benefit, right? Right, yes, but your core is your foundation. So okay. if your foundation is a little lopsided or has a sinkhole under it, then nothing else is going to function good. So okay. you want to have a nice, strong pelvic floor, abdominal area so that you can move better, feel better. And you do it on this thing. And we do it on this <laughs> Chinese torture device. Okay, wait, wait, so when you call it a Chinese torture device, That's are you joking? Other people call it. Other people yeah. call it. Okay, yeah. So they call it the Chinese it's torture. It's intimidating. It is. Well, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm intimidated. Yeah. Okay, it's so, a reformer. Okay, it's a reformer, mm -hmm. and um, so mm -hmm. can so can you walk us through maybe a, you know an exercise or two? Yeah. And that's kind of cool. You don't wear tennis shoes, right? Right. Like, so, you can go okay. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Sticky socks. All right. So I'm taking off my shoes here. All go right. Go ahead and lie on your back with your, okay. your head that way. Okay. Uh, with my head this way. Yes. Okay. So you can go up here and then flip Okay. Now I have to say I have tried Pilates before, but um, in fact with you I tried it like yeah. beforehand. All right. So. So you kind of know what to expect, which is good. A lot of people feel like they flail when okay. they first come in, and I always okay. tell them to give them themselves about three sessions before they really make a judgment about it because it is different you're going to slide off the shoulder rest just okay. a touch okay good and i'm going to put that in there to help you stabilize okay. your inner thighs and your pelvic floor okay okay you're going to float your feet into okay. what we call table so 90 like degrees with the knees so kind of like yoga a little bit right no it's completely different than yoga <laughs> okay it's okay <laughs> My, okay, I have the ball. I act like okay. All right, okay. okay. All right, you're gonna pull your belly button in, suck it in like you're at the beach. Pull your ribs down like this. Down like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. Okay. That way. That okay. way. Now reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Like, like this. Uh -huh. Okay. Long fingers, but you can hold on with the thumb. Okay. And you're gonna pull your arms down by your side. Like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can and I say O M G? And then you're gonna reach up. Stop right there. Okay. Good. And you're gonna pull down again. Good. So this looks like arm work, but what we're really focusing on is your core. So we don't want your ribs to come up when your arms come up. We wow. want to keep them melting down towards the floor. And you want to suck your belly in like you're at the beach and you just saw how do you walk by. Okay. And I have to keep my feet up like that. Yes, because your knees will pull your abs into a pooching position, which isn't good. You can feel it for sure. Yeah. A whole fuck. Oh, yeah. All right. So Michelle's gonna be mad at me, but I'm gonna have her try something. I have, I have a bunch of questions that I want to ask you. Okay. 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 So, of, of course, course, Michelle is here. Hi, Michelle. Hi. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna continue talking yes. as we, because um, I want to ask you a do bunch you of questions. Do you want to do the same stuff? Or do whatever. You know, whatever. Please convert to the tower, so we can also do some exercises. Let's try the tower. And December, okay, while you get this prepared for Michelle, and if you don't mind talking us through okay. this, um, how many how many sessions do you think someone needs to take before they start seeing a difference? Well, Joseph Pilates mm -hmm. has always said, in 10 sessions, you'll start to feel a difference. In 20 sessions, you'll start to see a difference. And in 30, you're on your way to a whole new body. Wow. Okay, now, can you tell us a little bit about Joseph yeah. Pilates? To, to, There's to, Joseph. Oh, okay. Right there. That's okay. him at age 57 in 1937. 57? Wow. Yeah. He's in great shape. He is in great shape, yes. 
So he had a mother who was a naturopath mm -hmm. and a father who um, was a gymnast. You're gonna go all the way down and then you're gonna come all the way up. Mm -hmm. You wanna move nice and slow. You wanna feel your abs pushing you back. What is Michelle doing right now? I'm sorry, and I don't mean to be all over the place, but what are you having her do? She's doing a roll down. A roll down. So Joseph had asthma as a child and he created some breathing exercises to help him get through the asthmatic episodes. And that's where the breathing in Pilates comes mm -hmm. from, which I haven't been focusing on today, but it's weird <laughs> enough as it is. You're gonna I, go I all right to ask you, like, where should I be breathing in? You're gonna out. exhale as you go down, and then you're gonna inhale, and you're gonna exhale as you come up. Mm -hmm. Inhale, and then exhale all the way down, and you're gonna hold this one down, and you're gonna pull for me. So using your back muscles, stay out of your neck. Michelle, how does it feel? Good, but I mean, it's, I mean, Can you you're working it? out. <laughs> that's, that's a good I'm doing answer. something. <laughs> that's a good answer. So, how is this equally powerful for men and women? All men, women, all ages. Um, it's great for people that are super fit. It's great for people that have injuries. Uh, it really repatterns the brain and the body to move from a better place to heal injuries and prevent future injuries. Now I would like you to come halfway up. Hold it there, abs sucked in, uh -huh. and go ahead and pull the bar towards you again. So it's like a full body workout too, Absolutely. right? Yes, yes. Pilates is kind of has layers, so you have to start with one place, mm -hmm. the core, and then layer everything else on top of it. And when we were talking about all ages, how, like my 11 year old, and a lot of people, I feel like I talk about Sammy a lot, but you know, she does love to exercise. She's already beginning to take care of herself. At what age can kids, can they start something like on a reformer though? Um, uh, typically it's around 12 years old uh, that you want them to start doing some lightweight bearing. Lightweight bearing. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, she's more brave than I am, so I'm sure she's like, hey, let's try this. Okay, Pilates so is pretty gentle, and there are some exercises that they can probably start younger, but because it's just spring resistance, which isn't a lot, then their growth plates aren't going to be in any harm if they start a little bit earlier. Earlier. So, December, once again, can you walk us through, like, what... So, the reformers have all different colors, I've noticed, too. Is there a di it, 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 does that mean anything? Different tensions. So okay. the yellow is super light. The purple is super heavy. Mm -hmm. So um, like these are for your legs because your legs are typically stronger. Um, but like the blues are a medium spring. So it just depends on what the body needs, the strength that you have to begin with, um, or what your goals are for which springs we use. Sometimes lighter is harder. Sometimes heavier is harder. Well, you know, some people are just joining this Facebook Live right now, and we're talking today about Pilates and how Pilates is, can be different. We're, we're differentiating the differences between Pilates and some other exercises. And so for the people who are just joining us now, you're saying that this is a great exercise for the whole body. Whole body, total body, for sure, yes. And the whole premise is using these transformers. Reformers. Reformers. I said transformers. Okay, I have nephews. So they do transform your body. Okay, oh, they do transform your body. I love it. And I have nephews too, so you know, I'm thinking transformers. Reformers. Okay, yes. See, see, I'm learning as well. So these are reformers. And now let's talk about, because um, I always talk about this too, like price points. Um, are there packages to do Pilates? And, um, and, you, and you had recommended that can you just repeat again the 10, 20, 30? Oh, what Joseph said. Yes, yes. yes. Joseph always said in 10 sessions, you'll start to feel a difference. In 20 sessions, you'll start to see a difference. And in 30 sessions, you're on your way to a whole new body. I love that. So, so price point, um, what are price points typically for Pilates? Um, for group classes mm -hmm. or private classes, I mean, they can range, it just mm -hmm. depends. Um, my group classes start at $35 a piece and then as you buy more, the price goes down a little bit. And can you, like say, you know, two or three people, and you said this is great for men and women, men it's not just, women. it's just not limited to women. Um, can you get the same 
benefits or is it better to be just one-on-one -on -one, um, if someone wants to try it? It depends on your body awareness and your physicality. So if you're like a super fit person and you don't have a lot of issues, then you could probably go into a group class, no problem. I keep my classes very small, five people maximum. So depending on your financial um, capabilities as well, I could still put somebody in a group class with other people that have been coming to me for years and years, and they can, I can still focus on them because I know that the other people are going to be okay without me scrutinizing them. Say someone is watching this and they live in North Tampa, you know, and they just can't make it down to South Tampa. What are the things that you need to look for? I mean, I'm not saying North Tampa and South Tampa are so far, but you know, you're shuffling kids, you know, things like that. What do you need to look for in a Pilates instructor? If you're, if you are going to sign up, what are some things you need to look for? Well, I think compatibility with the instructor is really key because if you're going to do any exercise, you need to like it. And if you go to one Pilates instructor and you don't like her or him or the experience, don't give up on it because there can be some very strict teachers out there, which is fantastic, mm -hmm. but it can kind of turn new people off of it a little okay. bit to begin with. Um, just because they're different backgrounds. I don't have a dance background. Okay. So if you were to get somebody that used to teach ballet, who they tend to be very this way or the highway kind of thing, then it might turn you off of Pilates. So compatibility with compatibility. the is very important. Mm -hmm. Education, uh, so make sure they've been doing it for a while. Um, but even apprentices have to go through a bunch of modules and that's how they learn. So, um, so you need to ask some key questions. Like it might be hard, but you just need to sit there and, and ask the instructor some key questions. Right. Yes, and I mean, see how you feel when you're taking the class or, you know, just if you feel like it's too hard and you say something and the teacher doesn't back off, then it's probably not the teacher for you. Or if it's too easy and she doesn't challenge you, you know, the communication is key. Communication, you yes. know, that is so interesting because really if you think about it in life, communication is key to everything, everything right? Yeah. To everything. Yeah. Well, right, but, you know, as we wrap up this Facebook Live, tell us um, in closing, especially for those who are just joining us, about you again. You are on Howard Avenue. On Howard. December Diamond. I love your name, by the way. Thank December you. Diamond. It sounds, you know, it sounds, it sounds so famous. <laughs> and so your, your studio is called Diamond, Diamond Pilates, Pilates Studio, uh -huh. right? Correct. And um, again, how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching Pilates since 2007. I was a personal trainer prior to that, from 2002 to 2007. So I've got... That's the look. <laughs> <laughs> the background. I've no, done a ton of continuing education. Um, yeah, I just want to help people either feel better or look better, whatever their goals are. Well, that's what, and that's why I asked you to do this Facebook Live, because you do have that amazing energy, and you do make people feel great. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you.